Hello there. I think most of you have met, have had the opportunity to meet over the past couple of years, but for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Mr McLaughlin, the head teacher in St Ninian's High School. Really unusual circumstances these are for me to be talking to you like this, because normally we would be welcoming you into the school for your two days induction, where you would go around all of your new first year classes. Unfortunately, we can't do that this year. However, we've got lots of information to give to you. And Mr Killen, the Deputy Head Teacher, who most of you again will have met before, will be sending that out to you uh, very shortly. Um, I hope you're excited uh, about coming to St Ninians. We're certainly excited about having you here and we look forward to seeing you in August. So before then, just I hope you're good to your families. I hope you have a, a good time over the summer and we'll see you in August. Thank you. I'm Kieran and I'm going to talk to you about what it's like being an S1 at St Ninian's. So I came from Holy Family and one of the first things that I was a bit worried about when I started St Ninian's was getting lost. So St Ninian's seems like a very big school when you first start but after a while you'll start to remember what classes you're going to and when and then it will all seem smaller and more manageable so so there's three new subjects that weren't in primary school and those are there's business which is that teaches you how to make a business and build up a business that's usually done on the computers a lot of the time there's design and technology so that's like woodwork and manufacturing stuff and there's home economics, which is cooking and sewing. So, also at lunchtime, there's a very wide variety of clubs to do. So, every almost every department runs clubs. There's PE clubs, there's maths clubs, there's English clubs. So, there will be a club for you if you just have a little bit of a look around and see what you like. Um, so, the main thing... It's different from secondary and primary is moving around the classrooms after each lesson. So after every lesson, you just look at your timetable and then that will tell you the class you've got to go to next. And then you just go to that class. And that can seem a bit hard at first, but after a while, you kind of start to remember your timetable and remember the rooms that you're going to. So that's much easier. And if you ever need help with anything or you're worried about anything, you'll have a teacher called your guidance teacher who mainly just their job is to make sure you're doing all right and check in with you and see how you're adapting to high school. So you can always talk to them if you've got a problem or you can talk to Mr Killing or the deputy heads team. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying being in high school more than primary school because there's just so many more opportunities for you to do stuff that you've never experienced before. So, yeah, bye. Hi, my name is Grace O'Brien and I came from St Helens Primary School in Bishop Briggs. The thing I was most worried about joining St Ninians was um, I didn't come from a feeder primary school, so... Um, I had to meet a whole new set of people. Um, but if you're worried about this, and I'll put your I put your mind at ease because joining Saint Ninians, it's such a welcoming school, and um, there are loads of groups that you can join which help you meet new people, and just it's just really fun. Um, it was easy to settle into first year because the teachers, especially the guidance ones, are there to answer any questions and are very approachable at break, lunchtime, or whenever you feel like you need them to go and speak to them. High school is good because you get to do a lot of subjects like music, drama, geography, modern studies and home economics. There are clubs at lunchtime that are there to keep you healthy and just have a fun lunchtime such as dance, basketball, trampolining, comic clubs, like baking clubs, anything. Um, it's a positive thing moving to secondary because um, you become more independent and make your own decisions. Um, you meet a whole new variety of people and you become more responsible in your own learning too. If you need any help with anything, you would go to your guidance teachers 
who is like trained to help you with any situations and all the guidance teachers are such nice staff so you'll get along with them well um, but I can honestly say that you can speak to like any teacher all teachers are open to speak to you um, if you're more comfortable with like a type of teacher then just go to them but all the guidance teachers are here for you too um, but moving to secondary is such a positive experience and you'll have a really great time when you come to St Anne's.